Today we need to get into this dating rumor and people believing that it has been confirmed. And we also need to get into an Instagram story apparently of Song Dae Yoon coming out of Jimin's apartment. And then we have claims of bullying while Jimin is at the camp. Say dumplings and save this eye. Hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Make sure you join us fangirling on Patreon with some free content on Saturdays now and let's go. Jimin is getting bullied while he is in the military has not been something that has subsided. And I think it's because he's a very easy target. And I think a lot of haters like to go for people that they think are weak or softer or kind. And I think that that is so beyond messed up. I think that they do know that they can hurt this person and they really try hard to hurt this person. But something that I think a lot of people should realize and I could be entirely wrong, but my assumption is that the people who are getting hate, i.e. Jimin, isn't someone that gets their feelings hurt very easily. It's just very hard to have your feelings hurt when you've been in the industry for over a decade and you've seen all types of comments that people can get and all that sort of stuff. Getting a mass wave of hate is nothing new. And at this point, I think a lot of them are probably used to this hate or the potential hate. You just get used to it. And given that their career has been over a decade long and still going very strong, it's very clear that the hate isn't something that actually affects their career or even their bottom line. And in fact, it seems to be making them more money. Of course, this begs the question of how come every time the members may see hate comments or whatever it is, do they then get super upset or appear upset? And to me personally, I think this is just being upset so that fans can fire back. People can defend them and haters can kind of take a moment to reflect on how bad their comments were. Sometimes some people who say these awful things don't realize that the celebrity can actually read them and see them. And this is a way for Jimin to say I'm actually reading these comments and actually seeing them. So if you can have a moment to have some humanity and then stop these horrid words, and the bottom line is I don't think a lot of people in K-pop have any humanity. And I don't really even completely understand why they care so much about having this savior complex with their favorite celebrity. A celebrity that is not only rich, extremely powerful, has all the connections in the world, is very famous, and even if they were to lose their career, they would never have to work a day in their life and their children would never have to work a day in their life. There's one thing to defend them if they're getting hate comments that they don't deserve, which of course, naturally you're going to do that because you're just seeing even a stranger online getting hate and you're like, what did they do to deserve this? Of course, you're going to defend that. But a lot of people will defend them over things that aren't issues and then make up issues because they want to be the one to defend them and save them from this made up issue. Dating rumors and that sort of stuff is something that I really never completely even understand. We don't live in the olden days. We don't even live back where K-pop was a decade ago, where a dating rumor is still, yes, considered a scandal, but it doesn't affect the idol the same way it used to. It used to be this whole thing where they would get canceled on TV, they would lose all their sponsorships, or even get dropped by the record label. Whereas nowadays, the record label won't drop them, and TV shows really aren't going to cancel them. The only people that actually get upset are the fans. So then that leaves two groups of people. One group of people who know that this is something that bothers the fans, so they actively try to say it and use it as a way to insult the celebrity. And the other group of people that will jump in and say that, I am offended and you should stop hating on the celebrity, blah, blah, blah. Well, if people just stop responding to the people spreading hate on dating rumors and that sort of stuff, then the dating rumors being a scandal would just stop. I hope that makes sense. People think that he's getting bullied at the camp for dating rumors that are ongoing right now. They think that people are attacking him. And I've even read people say that they think that he is getting assaulted in the military by other military men because Jimin is on the more feminine side. This isn't jail. This is literally the military, in which case, yeah, stuff like that could happen. But I highly doubt someone like Jimin isn't being watched all the time and that there isn't someone looking over him. Not even for an assault thing or whatever it is, but just the fact that that is a huge celebrity going to the military. People are going to have their eyes on him because they want to make sure that he isn't getting attacked. It's the same way as a big celebrity going to jail. They can't really go to normal jail because they're so well known that they can get attacked. So naturally, judges will even grant them jail in their house, which isn't really jail since they live in a big house. However, I say this because no matter how normal the military enlistment may appear to us, it's definitely a little different for them than it is if we were to enlist. Now, dating rumors, of course, have existed for a really long time. And one recently with Jimin is with Song Dae-un. She's beautiful. I think she was a reality star. And then now I think she's an actress. I'm not really entirely sure. And there's a lot of rumors surrounding the two dating and a lot of people believe it mostly came from her inciting the rumor. From photos appearing the same way to several other things appearing like she is in Jimin's personal life. And of course, we'll get more into that a little bit later. But a lot of people were bringing up an old moment 
moment in which people believed she was dating another celebrity. And they were kind of bringing back what her answer to that rumor was. So she actually addressed this rumor in one of her live streams. There was this rumor that she was dating Sungri and a fan had asked her during a live stream if she was and she just responded very quickly to say nope. She was believed to be connected to the Morning Sun or the club that he was involved in. And thus people thought that she was dating him. However, people have then linked this moment to a more recent rumor with Jimin to say that since she addressed the dating rumor with Sangri and the fact that she hasn't addressed this rumor with Jimin, people think that she will, might be confirming that she's actually dating him. However, I haven't been keeping up with her or following her or whatever, so I don't even know if she has gone live recently. So that could even be a thing where she hasn't even had time to go on live nor maybe even if she went on live, did anyone even ask her about the dating rumor? I haven't seen any posts where people were specifically saying that on her live, and then she was just actively ignoring it. And she could have been, I don't know. Now, there was another post that she made that a lot of people were very much freaking out about. People weren't sure if this specific post was inciting the dating rumor or if this was just like an honest post that she made. So apparently there was a post where she was playing with her dog and she snapped that. And I believed it was on her story or something, but it could have been on her profile, not entirely sure. But the post seemed like it was in Jimin's apartment. And that is the thing that went viral. People were talking about this moment from one of Jimin's vlogs and then kind of lining it up with the post that was in the story saying that the apartment or the house looks very similar. Now there's a lot of people who now think that Jimin was there with her and she was in the apartment and they were hanging out playing with his dog. And there's a lot of rumors going on with that. Of course, those rumors make a lot of sense. However, there's a lot of things that people don't talk about. One being the fact that if she is in the same apartment complex or within the same city or town, typically all these luxury apartments kind of look the same. Now the actual furniture and that sort of stuff, a lot of celebrities will have designers and people come in. So that could be another reason as to why the furniture could look so similar. It's because maybe it was bought at the same place and obviously if she is posting things where it seems similar to Jimin then she probably likes Jimin and has used his furniture or what he's shown in his vlogs as inspiration. So I do want to put that out there just because you see that doesn't necessarily mean that they're dating and a lot of celebrities or public figures tend to live in the same area. There are specific towns in Seoul and Korea where it's specifically designed for the wealthy celebrities to be in and they're usually gated communities. All the apartment complexes in those buildings typically look the same, the same layout, and typically have the same type of living room, bedroom, kitchen type of format. And so if one were to live there, there's only a certain number of ways in which you can rearrange the furniture or put the furniture in the room to make it look good. And typically kind of what people want with furniture is to do the same thing, which is open up the space, make it look big and comfy. And so typically that can be the same. Something a lot of people don't talk about is that obviously people want a nice apartment. They want a luxury apartment with a nice view. But one thing that they don't say is that all of those apartments look the same. They all have the same colored walls, the same floor, the same type of kitchen, everything. So there's no originality with a lot of these things and then it's just very expensive. So we can tend to see that things look very similar very easily. I'm sure we can also pick out other girls or other men or whatever that have a similar type of apartment with the same type of furniture that could be mistaken for each other. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos and link down below. Thanks to this little big comment right here. Love you. Bye.